coming down Ooh, here to try and game. help out Reckless and Hillisang as well. This is why he wanted that first pick. Oh, Totoros! Totoro gets knocked back. Box is on his way. He's just trying to dodge around. He manages to get away from Boxer. Can he flash away the heal? Totoro, he's so low, but they will just about get the final yeah. auto! We didn't get to say this because we were talking about Soas and bragging about his one world. To make sure Exile can farm and push. This Corky in the late game, amazing skating. We always talk about David going for a dive. Shield of Dread comes out from Caps. He's going to taunt up Cold and knockback as well with the Justice Punch. There oh, is the stopwatch no, and Cold no, is no. dead! Oh. Goodbye! Caps the Exile flashes in and gets the counter kill, but it was a 2v1 and for Caps. Right and here in. comes Brooks. They're looking for the electrocute damage. Exile trying to run his way away, but doesn't have the Valkyrie and the Cataclysm will lock him in the pit. There's the Valkyrie away. Brooks with a Dragon Strike to the back. So in the end, Fnatic get two kills. That was a, you know, hit Q and then passive and you one shot someone. You gotta actually hit all the abilities, but then you can take a carry down. Back flash, no, what a stun, White Knight. That was sick. Source did not expect that one. Stopwatch with all the bruisers and the backline dive is gonna be extremely scary to deal with for Unicorns a lot, unless on their side, their front line is so strong that can actually force Fnatic to not just run through them. Because their carries, Oh, and oh the Justice Punch dodged the Glacial Prism. Here comes the TP in from behind, and Fnatic might try and start the fight. Hillisang there, Hero's entrance to knock them up. Totoro gets hit, he gets into the stopwatch though, and now Caps is the frontline target. White Knight can't quite connect with the Nar, but one member goes down, and the Unicorns of Love win the fight. We got another play winning in the lane phase, but then top lane, they're falling behind quite a bit with Soas, and Brox has not had the same early game impact we saw before. We aren't gonna fight, Medic! Totoro is gonna engage. There's the Featherstorm as well. Hillisang trying to get on towards this backline. Caps is there. Samus and Totoro just backing away. White Knight with a double nine to the wall. Fnatic now on the back foot because here comes Exile as well, and double Unicorns will be trying to push in towards Hillisang here. Soas trying to retreat back, but it's a choke point. Maybe Soas can jump in with the Hemo Plague. He gets a lot of damage down, and here's the Hero's entrance as well. Fnatic trying to turn it around. Hemo Plague up towards the top side. Can't quite kill Cold or Exile, and somehow no one has died. Well, we have another fight now with no flashes. Maxox dead because of it. Fnatic is going to try and push in for this mid lane tower. So we're basically seeing another fight. Oh, double tower. Here comes Guard as well with the Glacial Prism. White Knight trying to build up that rage by Hillisang's already dead. And Samix is going to open up as well. Reckless on the back line. White Knight jumps in. Reckless is down. Chaos is down. Fnatic are falling apart. Let's see right here. Unicorns of Love kill three members. Are they already looking towards an early Baron? Exile is dead though. That's a lot of damage missing. Samix is going to try and chase out Boxer here. The Blast game will take them both across. Totoro there as well. The smite from Boxer isn't going to be enough. And now it has to be. Baron for Unicorn. That's the moment they kill the jungler, they go straight towards Baron. Soas is here, almost full HP. Ulti is ready, but no flash. Can he do anything at all? White Knight is zoning him away. But look at how low Cold and Totoro are. Oh, White Knight gonna God. push in. Are they just gonna have to back away from this one? Fine, Soas is gone. This should be the Baron taken by the Unicorns. 23 minutes in, they Woo! secure it. That was close for Cold. And with his damage against the backline, this is the kind of fight Unicorns were looking for to get further ahead in the game. We even got the early Baron. Cataclysm in, Cold and Samix there. Oh, Samix Here comes out. the hero's entrance, but Samix dodges it with the yeah, better right. with the re-engage yeah. from Hillisang from the side. Now Fnatic are turning tables on the Unicorns of Love. Exile's gonna fall as well. Four down for the Unicorns. And Fnatic are gonna try and chase. That was insightful. Samus gonna get Hemo plays on here, has to jump away, but the flash from Broxa gets onto him, and Reckless is on a rampage. And they're looking for Cold to Toe and Exile as well. I feel so bad for Samus in this game because there's so little he can do. Here comes the way. Sang. He knows that Exile likes to push forward. He knows that Exile is out of position, and he knows that he wants to help Soas secure the kill. The kill. Hillisang takes it for himself. Unicorns are going to look for the Baron, though. They'll start this one up very quickly. But this is 4v5. Let's see. No TPs on the two members in the bottom lane from Fnatic. So they're running down. Broxa behind the Baron. Caps on the other side here, but Unicorns of Love, they realize the Baron is going down too slow without Exile. And that means Fnatic can now go for the Baron if they want to. Cold could look for the steal though. We've seen Sejuani's do it already today. Two more control wards in those inventories as well, so they can just pop them across the wall. 5,000 on the Baron. Hillisang here, the flash, the taunt on towards Samix, and he's just dead. The Baron's still going low, but the Unicorns might just be looking for a steal here. They need to get out. Cold up towards the side of the top, though. Caps with the shield of Dragon can't quite connect. Cold jumps in, doesn't steal it, Boxer secures it, and now the Unicorns need to get the hell out of there, because Cold is dead, and Reckless is dominating. We got some super minutes in the mid lane already. Baron buff on Fnatic. 
Let's see what I want to oh, do. Oh, Hillisang, he's just delaying their backs. This is so good from Hillisang. He has been a standout performer this game. Oh, he wants some more. Reckless is here. On the hunt, Flash, Boomerang, one more auto. Reckless is godlike. Nine kills on this Sivi here. All of Fnatic coming straight for the base. Exile and White Knight, only members alive to try and defend. Fnatic just did not give up their shot in this game. They saw the moment they took it and they have been scrappy throughout the entirety of it. They're trying to close it out. The Nexus Tower is low. White Knight there as well. The Cataclysm Exile won't survive the Hemo playing and Unicorns of Love won't survive the day. Fnatic gonna get the second Nexus Tower down. They're cleaning up the kills in the back as well. Hillisang will fall, a sacrifice for the team. Fnatic oh, can't can quite get it, it though, because Cold and Samux on a triple, tearing through Fnatic. Unicorns of Love have turned this one right back around, and now Reckless is a sole man standing. It's his 10th kill, the most kills. Can he make it 13? He needs Cold, he needs he Samux, needs the he needs to hit the Nexus, and Reckless with the solo carry wins the game!